How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP Wi-Fi battle and today we're going to be hopefully showcasing Pidgeot for the third attempt. If you want to battle me then join the Discord server in the description and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Okay, we found our opponent Nick. They've got a pretty cool looking team. They've got the Blastoise which is scary because Shell Smash is just terrifying for my team. Uh, they've got the Rotom Mo, the Frostlass, Arcanine, Scizor and an Empoleon. Not too bad of a team. I like it. I like it. So let's look at Brave Bird. <laughs> I keep calling it Brave Bird for some reason. Let's look at Pidgeot over here. Um, Brave Bird will probably do a nice chunk of damage to the Blastoise, but we might want to keep the Quick Attack. If we can weaken it enough and it gets Shell Smash up, we can go for the Quick Attack and hopefully take it out. Uh, Frostlass should get taken out by Brave Bird. However, it'll probably outspeed us and get a burn off. So we've got to watch out for that. Got to watch out for Rotom if it's Scarfed. And Arcanine as well is one of them Pokemon where Intimidate and everything. So um, to take care of the Arcanine, we're probably going to rely on the uh, Switch In with Typhlosion for Flash Fires. And we're also relying on Starmie. Um, Starmie's going to do a lot to their team, actually, to be fair. It'll definitely give a lot of damage to the Blastoise if we get a Thunderbolt off. Uh, Typhlosion is going to be pretty good as well. If we can get the Arcanine out of the way and the Blastoise to get weakened, Typhlosion can just wreck through this guy's team. So that's pretty cool. I mean, Sizzle's not too much to worry about. Um, I think in this particular scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Steelix and get the Stealth Rocks up straight away. And the battle begins. Nick sends out his Guardian, which is the Rotom Mo, as we send out the beautiful Steelix. And as you can see, we are in Cynthia's room. I figured out how to change the battle backgrounds and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I've got a whole bunch of different backgrounds that we're going to be changing to and rotating through as the battles go on. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go straight for a Stealth Rock. They are probably going to burn us or trick us. Now, if they trick us, you know what, actually, uh, you know what? Either way, we just switch into Typhlosion here. Burn will get flash fired up. And if the trick was a choice scarf, well, guess what? We're choice scarfed as well, so that's always a thing. So they go for a trick, which is fine by me, because guess what? I'm also choice scarfed. See? Ha ha ha! The perfect counter! As uh, we can just go for an eruption now, not a lot's going to switch in. If the Arcanine is flash fire, then sure, it'll get a switch in. Um, the Blastoise as well, if the Blastoise comes in, it pretty much gets a free shell smash off. But like I said, it goes into F9. <laughs> Which is, of course, the uh, Arcanine and the Intimidate's there. So let's see how much Eruption's going to do to this Arcanine. And we might be able to get a good grasp of what kind of Arcanine it is. So that was some decent damage. That was some decent damage, to be fair. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch into a Steelix. And then I'm going to go into Starmie. So we'll do that real quick. We're going to Steelix real quick. Steelix can definitely take an extreme speed or a close combat because I imagine they will go for an extreme speed to try and weaken my next eruption type thing and then try and go for a morning sun or something. So they go straight for the extreme speed there. We're going to either like it nothing because we are a Steelix. We are a Steelix. And we haven't seen what item they've got yet. We haven't seen leftovers. We haven't seen life orbs. So there's a good chance they're either a berry or they are a choice banded. Because it gets close combat, extreme speed, flare blitz, and it gets play rough. So, can be a pretty good choice bander. Um, I'm going to go ahead and expect a fire type move here. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of going back into Typhlosion. No, 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 that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work out. I think the best thing to do here is to go into uh, the Dragonite. I think Dragonite's a good play here. Dragonite can just tank. And they actually switch out. What are they going to go into? Blastoise? Executive producer. That's the Sizzle. Okay, so Sizzle isn't the worst switching in the world here. Um, for our Dragonite. We could scare them out because obviously we could have Fire Punch. So that might scare them out. I reckon they'll go for a U-turn. Yeah, because Sizzle's not really doing much to me. So I'm tempted to just go straight for an Earthquake. Tempted to go for a Dragon Dance as well. Um... Let's go for the Earthquake. I don't think we should go for Dragon Dance while the um, Frostlass is there and it probably has, you know, Focus Sash and we haven't got Stealth Frogs up. So Earthquake does a lot of damage. They did actually stay in and go for a Bullet Punch, which is a shame. But what can you do there? What can you do? Not a lot. Not a lot. Um, I'm thinking... I know, steady on. 
Uh, we win this situation when it comes to earthquakes and everything, but I don't think I want to lose too much to my sizzle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Steelix instead. I'm assuming that they are going to go for a bullet punch or a roost here. Um, so we'll go into Steelix real quick and we'll try and get our Stealth Rocks up because Stealth Rocks are going to be really good for this, this, this team. So there's the bullet punch again. We're eating that up like it's nothing, of course. And this next turn, they probably go for a U-turn into either Blastoise or the Arcanine. Which is fine. Which is absolutely fine. So we'll go for a Stealth Rock real quick. They're going to go for a Brick Break, which does not much damage because I'm a Steelix and I'm very, very defensive. Uh, we'll go for a Stealth Rock real quick. And, you know, this might actually give us a free switch. It depends. I'm assuming they have U-turn as well. So I don't know whether they'll have a Defog or not on this. Because uh, Empoleon sat right there and that could very well be the defogger so um, what we can do here is we can just go for a dragon tail and um, that way if they u-turn which they aren't um we can just get them out of there so let's get the dragon tail off looks like a little weird tongue lick that did a weird animation so we'll get the scissor out there brings the arcanine in not the best thing to bring in for us um hmm we can probably expect a flare blitz here um, I'm probably definitely safe going into Typhlosion, so uh, oh, they could go for close combat though. They could go for close, close combat. Let's go Dragonite. I think Dragonite's a better switch here because I'm really thinking they might go close combat. If they even have it, I just don't want to get Typhlosion too weak, you know? So they go for a crunch. Okay, so there we go. They, they, did, they did go for something that... Um, my Typhlosion wouldn't have appreciated. So we'll go for an Earthquake real quick and hopefully we can catch that Scizor again. They're going to withdraw their Arcanine and they're going to go into... Bum, ba, da, da. That's the Scizor, right? Yep, Scizor. So Scizor, after Stealth Rocks, should not be able to take another Earthquake. I mean, after this one, of course. Looking at that damage, I reckon we're, we're safe to go for an, um, an Extreme Speed here. We don't want to take that bullet punch damage. Let's go for the extreme speed. Extreme speed should KO from here. There we go. So Scizor's down, which is perfect. Dragonite once again coming through, being the absolute monster that it is. Who even needs Garchomp? I mean, Garchomp's superior, but Garchomp doesn't get Dragon Dance or extreme speed. All right, in comes the Frostlast, the perfect Pokemon to revenge kill my Dragonite. So uh, we do not want to stay in here. Uh, do I really have a switch though? Might be a case of sacking off. Steelix. I mean, they're probably going to go for a... Um, they're probably going to expect us to switch, right? And go into the Starmie. So... Expect Ghost-type against the Starmie. That's that's the only thing I'm thinking. Um, they don't really have the best switch in here. To be honest with you. Because I'm thinking Will-O-Wisp, Ice Beam, Hex. And they probably expect the Starmie switching and go for a Hex, right? So let's just go into Steelix. And if, if we live... We can get a Custard Berry something off. If we don't live, then so be it. We got a free suit stream with Typhlosion, and that's all that really matters. <laughs> Let's be real, because Arcanine dies to Typhlosion right now. So there's the Ice Beam. That's definitely going to KO my Steelix, which is a shame. But what can you do? What can you do? I didn't really have a good switch. I mean, like I said, Starmie was too risky, because Starmie's going to be pretty important in this game. Um, so I think now we go into Typhlosion, and we can just go straight for a Eruption. I think so. Eruption will do great here. It'll do really great here. So I'm thinking... We go straight for the Eruption. Even if they bring Blastoise in. They actually stay in. They stay in and they let the Frostlass go down. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, you probably want to free switch into your Blastoise, right? You don't want the Blastoise to get too weakened. Um, Arcanine can't switch in. Typhlo uh, Empoleon, if it's not specially defensive, will definitely get 2 it KO'd. Rotom dies just straight up uh blastoise doesn't want to take too many so in comes the arcanine which is a very interesting one because i could easily just ko you with um eruption right now but it's gonna be in a predicament because i can't really switch anything into an extreme speed i don't need typhlosion to win or no specifically i don't need eruption to win so we could go for flamethrower instead um, thinking we still go for the eruption this turn. I mean, you know, extreme speed is going to do a lot of damage, but it's not that bad. Uh, eruption should definitely still 
take the uh, Arcanine out. So Arcanine goes down. Now we've got to worry about the Rotom and the Penguin and the Blastoise. So uh, I'm pretty sure Focus Blast will help take care of... Well, not take care of, but it'll do a lot of damage to the Empoleon. And Flamethrower should cut the Rotom. So in comes the Blastoise. So this is where we start seeing Shell Smash shenanigans coming into play, I think. So um, this is a tough one. Tough one, tough one, tough one, tough one, tough one, tough one. Tough one. Um, Starmie, Starmie can take the Scold, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, whatever they want to go for. I'm pretty sure Blastoise doesn't get Dark Pulse. Either that or it just doesn't carry it. I'm going to go into the Dragonite Switch right now. Um, I think that's the best play. Go for an Extreme Speed, get as much damage off on the uh, Blastoise as we can. We want to make sure Starmie can one-shot it. They withdraw their Blastoise, expecting the Switch, and they go into Guardian, the Rotom. So that works out pretty well for them. We no longer have a ground type, so they can Volt Switch here. Ah, oh, I really wanted to save Extreme Speed. I think what we do here is... You know what? It doesn't matter. We, we can still take the Blastoise. Starmie can take it. Starmie can definitely take it. Let's go for the Extreme Speed and just um, do some damage to this Rotom real quick. So, got it over half, which is great. They go for a Volt Switch, which is going to KO us because it was a crit. <laughs> of course it was a crit. I don't think that KO'd without the crit, but it doesn't matter anyway. So, um, the Rotom gets to switch in something and we get initiative on whatever they switch in. And I'm going to go ahead and expect the Empoleon. <laughs> in comes Flips You Off. I like these guys' nicknames. They've been pretty funny so far. Um, the Empoleon... Which we can handle because we have Heracross. You know, Heracross is one of them Pokemon where you just, you know, once you get a free switch in, something has to go. Something has to go. And, you know, it's usually something like, um, let's say, an Empoleon, for example. Let's go for a close combat and just take it out. We don't even need the burn. We don't even need it. Watch. Bye, Empoleon. We don't need Guts. Who needs Guts when you've got close combat of Heracross? I mean, it is Guts, but... You know, you know what I mean? Like, who who needs it? Who needs it when you can just close combat and just KO something? So, Guts is activated now, which is perfect. And they probably go into the Rotom here to try and uh, take us out now that we've got lower defenses. But I think they personally, what they should really do here is bring Blastoise in and see if he can take a close combat. Maybe that's just wishful thinking, but... Uh, I think they go for a Thunderbolt slash Volt Switch here anyway, so... Let's go into Typhlosion. We'll sack Typhlosion off. We don't need Typhlosion anymore. Typhlosion's not doing anything for us at the moment. As uh, they go for a Discharge, which should take out Typhlosion. There we go. So they've locked themselves into Discharge, which is fine. We can bring in the... Whatever we want, really. I mean, they get Discharge. So, I mean, we definitely bring in Heracross. We've got Pidgeot and a Starmie in the back. We bring in hair across real quick and what we'll do is we'll go straight for a close combat and we might actually be able to clean sweep up with close combat on the um hair across so discharge isn't even going to do half we'll go for close combat take out the rotom and if i'm correct after stealth rocks blastoise depending on whether it what set it is if it's not shell smash and it's physically defensive then we might take a skull to the face skull shouldn't kill though if it's defensive the other half is i'm completely wrong on my math and Blastoise offensive with Shell Smash doesn't get KO'd, which could be really bad for us. But at the same time, not too bad because we've got Quick Attack on Pidgeot, so Pidgeot might save the day there. So let's go for the close combat anyway. And um, they're probably going to go for the Shell Smash. Never mind. <laughs> I think I was giving Blastoise too much credit there. So Blastoise goes down, and that is the game. Heracross coming through. You deserve a spot on the thumbnail. Definitely deserve a spot on the thumbnail. So thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.